Hi, I'm Dennis Shea with Low and Certified. I want to introduce you to Adam Blackman. He just passed his uh, Low and Certified 3M Preferred Installers Test. And we wanted to ask him a couple questions regarding what he found to be the hardest station to pass. He's a very experienced installer. He did a great job on everything, but yet uh, we want to find out where do people need to concentrate to pass this test. So, Adam, what do you think, man? Well, as we were just talking about, I think it is a new school versus old school kind of thing. Uh, the one I barely passed by the skin of my teeth was the corrugated with the uh, non-air release. Um, it is not a fun test. I've been doing this for a long time. We don't really work with non-air release materials anymore, but uh, this, this is a beast. Uh, I'll, I'll take the, uh, the front bumper of a HHR, or the, the back of half of an HHR with air release and 380 any day over this. It takes just about all the time they give you to do it, and I actually went over time and, and just barely made it. So if you're gonna come out, brush up on some non-air release first, and I recommend you come out because it means a lot, meant a lot to me. So uh, brush up on the non-air release material on the, a corrugated trailer. And uh, go ahead and pass this one with a lot better percentage than I did, trust me. Adam's with 3-4 uh, wraps <clears throat> out of Philly area. We'll Philly call it area. Philly. So, so he's, we're going to be using him a lot in the future. So, Any, any other, Anything else you want to say about the test? Or? I used to be the kind of guy who uh, didn't believe in certifications. Never thought it was worthwhile. I was on all the boards with, you know, certifications don't mean anything. I've gotten work. As long as I've been self-employed, I've gotten work installing. Everybody loves the work I do. It doesn't mean anything. But I got to say, I finished, and it meant a lot to me. I mean, it means something to me now to be recognized, I guess, if you will. Um, and I know who I came here with. He's kind of felt the same way. We've all had that, that is it really worth paying the money to come out and get certified? But just even if you don't, I don't even if it weren't a certification, you came out here, you passed the test. They're not easy tests to pass. Trust me, it's just not the, an off-the-cuff kind of fly-by-night thing. They are tough tests. They, they put you through uh, some efforts uh, to get this stuff done. People watching you and, and getting graded at the every, uh, every test. You know, you, you do a job, you're not graded by uh, someone who's been standing there watching you and who knows what they're doing. It, it's a difference. It, it certainly is. And it's, it's well worth it. Come on out. And if anything, you pass the test, Lowen sends out a lot of work. That's, uh, that's well worth it just in that alone. So well, We appreciate it, Adam. And we, uh, we do have a, a bigger uh, picture on this thing and having guys like Adam certified because if he has that credential next to his name we know that we can send him anywhere to do any job and not have to worry about whether he has a skill level or not he's got the credentials you know he's he's got the PhD now so it's uh, it's important that we use the guys that do have all the credentials it saves a lot of money a lot of come back to resurface something that wasn't done right in the first place. So thanks, Adam. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Dennis.